Well, Brian Shaw joins us now, meteorologist extraordinaire. Because of today's weather, we give you that title, and you can have it again tomorrow if you can reproduce this. <laughs> it depends on your cup of tea. If you like the hotter, a little more humid weather, then I'll take the title. But I do think it's going to be another gorgeous day in western Pennsylvania for tomorrow with temperatures climbing into the mid to upper 80s. We have cleared out for this evening a live look at downtown Pittsburgh and Heinz Field. There was a little bit of cloud cover through today, but it was a near perfect 4th of July. There were just one or two rain showers that had popped up briefly in the southern part of the state and into West Virginia. But otherwise, those have since faded away and we just have a few clouds out there right now. Dew points were in the upper 50s. They're now into the low 60s and we are going to start to see those rise over the next couple of days. And so that's going to bring in that little more uncomfortable weather as we go from Monday into Tuesday and then Tuesday into Wednesday. And that's also what's going to help fuel some showers and storms that will pop up in the afternoons and evenings. So while we saw one or two today, we may see a few more tomorrow and so on and so forth as we get into the middle of the week. A little bit of cloud cover moving through from Ohio. That'll clear out as it moves to the east into central Pennsylvania. And we'll have mainly clear skies throughout the rest of tonight. There's just a little boundary that's to the northwest. But high pressure, think of that as heavy air, kind of keeping things down for us. And then also pulling in this warmer air from the southwest. So that's why we're going to see above average temperatures over the next several days where we're jumping up into the upper 80s tomorrow, potentially low 90s on Tuesday, staying in the upper 80s on Wednesday. And that's the case throughout the entire Midwest, the Great Lakes region, and then into New England until we get closer to Thursday and Friday, where we will see slightly below average temperatures for a couple of days just because of more widespread rain and storms that move through before we then rebound again for the weekend. So it's just a couple of days where we fall down into the upper 70s and low 80s. For the rest of tonight into tomorrow morning, we drop down into the mid 60s. 8 a.m. if you have to get up early and go to work, we are dry. Temperatures are going to be in the upper 60s at that point. By lunchtime, we are already in the mid 80s. So by lunchtime, it's potentially that we are warmer than we were at any point today. There were a couple of spots that were a little bit warmer. I did see a couple 86s and 87s uh, across the area, but it's likely that we're going to get closer to around 94 tomorrow. Not quite there, but close. And you see those few more showers and storms popping up on the future cast because of the heat and because of the humidity. They'll fade away in the evening. We'll start off dry on Tuesday, but then we're going to do the same thing. But notice, also notice that those Tuesday morning temperatures are warmer than what we'll have for tomorrow morning in indication of those rising dew points. Tuesday, it does look like we are going to get close to that 90 degree mark and a few more showers and storms are going to be a possibility. And then that'll, that'll be the case again for Wednesday as well. So tonight... We're in the mid-60s, partly cloudy skies, overall a mild night. Temperatures in the mid to upper 80s for tomorrow, partly cloudy skies, a stray shower is going to be possible. We're isolated rain and storms for Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday. Then they become a little more scattered, a little more numerous for Thursday and Friday. You see that temperature drop into the low 80s, but we're bumping right back up into the mid-80s for Saturday, Sunday, and we will have some rain and storm chances for next weekend as it looks right now.